This is our last act of the night. And I've, no, I've, I'm excited to bring him up on the stage and you're gonna know why. He has been a joy to have in the class. You're gonna love him like we all do. Ladies and gentlemen, get a big round of applause together for Cliff the Geezer! I don't know why they put me on last because they know I have to go to bed early. I, give Stella a nice hand. Yeah. By the way, he and I are technically brothers. We go to the same pro no, no, that's not proctologist. We go to the same urologist, but he cheated him because I have real family jewels. They put gold in mine. <laughs> Before I get started, I'd like to thank my dentist. She's here to see me, and I appreciate that. I went over to see him before the show started. She didn't recognize me. <laughs> I opened my mouth. She said, oh, hi, Cliff. I'm just glad the proctologist didn't show up. I know you have a question. You say, what's this old geezer doing going to a comedy club? Well, it's cheaper than a psychiatrist. I also get to improve my social activity that doesn't include a doctor. I might get a laugh, and the only one I get in the doctor's office is when I take off my clothes. I'm 83 years old. I know I look older. I've been married 64 years. Not to the, not to the same woman. I just renewed my driver's license. My goal in life is to outlive it. I did learn something when you go to the tax office now and you're a geezer. They only renew it for six years, not eight. However, they do take bets on whether you're gonna come back and make the next <laughs> renew. I joined the Navy when I was 16. Thank you. I told people I was doing it to ride the waves, and that was funny in 1960, but there's no more waves, so nobody knows what I was talking about. Waves were the females from 1943 to 1970. Then the Navy merged them and made them real sailors and put them on warships. Now they're pregnant sailors and the Navy can't figure out why. <laughs> after school, I mean after the Navy, I went to Georgia State University to get a degree. Hey, I'm from Atlanta, by the way, the, lady, the Atlanta paper. Thing. My family's been in Atlanta since 1847. They bought on the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> anyway, back to going to school. I wanted something different than a degree. And Georgia State had a program called Urban Life. It sounded interesting. The brochure said it specialized in urban affairs. I thought it was the same as a suburban affair except in a downtown hotel. <laughs> We have pet peeves. Oh, by the way, another education thing. I'm a graduate of the North Texas Farrier School in Mineral Wells, Texas. Farriers repair sh horses' feet and shoe horses. They don't shoot horses, they repair their feet. When I got back to Atlanta, I thought, well, I'll, find, I'll form an association of farriers. So I named it the Farriers Association of Georgia and used the initials. <laughs> For those of you in public school, that's F-A-G. I never got one farrier, but I got over a thousand applications. We have pet peeves, and one of mine is texting with initials. I'm just too old to understand. LOL, LMAO, POS, I just don't understand them, and I have to get ex explained to me. The other thing I can't stand is deceptive signs. And there's a couple of them around here. I was coming down 75 the other day and there's a big sign that says BJ's. <laughs> I bought a membership before I knew it was the wrong place. <laughs> there's a sign in the comas that says women's consignment. I dropped my wife off and they ran me off the property. All of us have had COVID experiences. Mine was at Longboat, on the Publix at Longboat. 
They put arrows down on all the rows so we wouldn't breathe on each other. <laughs> I went the wrong way and a little belligerent woman said, don't you see those arrows? I said, hell lady, I don't even see the Indians. My daughter gave me that new thing called Alexa. She's really not nice. She wakes me up and just asks stupid questions. The other day she said, Cliff, I wanna ask you a question. I said, okay. What does a completely sexually satisfied woman say after making love? I said, I don't know. She said, that's what I thought. I did something I haven't done in a long time. I rode the Sarasota County Area Transit, SCAT. Now who would name their bus after bear crab? I saw the worst treatment of a poor lady that got on the bus. The guy stopped the bus, the lady gets on, she sits across from him. We take off, he turns around and looks, and she does this. He does this. <laughs> she does this. He does this. She jumps up and says, he stops the bus and she gets off. I said, sir, that's the rudest thing I've ever seen by a bus driver. I'm gonna report you to management. He said, oh no, we're friends. She rides my bus all the time. We were just communicating. I said, I don't believe you, what's said? She said, are you a local bus? I said, no, I go straight through. <laughs> She said, are you going to the dairy? I said, no, I'm going to the ballpark. And she said, oh shit, I'm on the wrong bus. Big hand for Cliff. This is Cliff's second class. He took the class last time. He, and I was so excited to see him come back. Man, big round of applause. I love seeing that guy, man. Now, I want a big hand for all these people. Kathy McSteen.